Donald Trump's request to appeal his ongoing gag order in his infamous hush money trial was officially denied by the New York Court of Appeals on Tuesday, June 18. The court wrote they declined to hear the appeal upon the ground that no substantial constitutional question is directly involved. As OK previously reported, Trump was found guilty on 34 counts of falsifying business documents connected to a $130,000 given to adult film star Stormy Daniels just prior to the 2016 election. Judge Juan Merchant first issued the gag order after Trump made a series of derogatory public remarks about potential witnesses, jurors, counsel, court staff and their families. However, the gag order wasn't enough to keep the former POTUS quiet. Earlier this year, the judge ruled that Trump violated the terms at least 10 times throughout the high-profile trial, which led him to issuing a warning that further violations could result in jail time. Trump appeared to finally take the order more seriously and was later heard stumbling over his words to avoid breaking the order during a May interview. After calling Judge Merchant a corrupt person who wants to put him behind bars, he told the crowd, but that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to edit this very quickly in front of you because if I mention the wrong word, they'll come out here and they'll take me out to the jail someplace because that's the way it is with this judge. He wants to show how tough he is. In the meantime, the embattled politician, who is the first former U.S. president to ever be found guilty of a felony, has also been lobbying for full presidential immunity from potential crimes committed while in office. If a president does not have immunity, the court will be opening the floodgates to prosecuting former presidents, he ranted via Truth Social on Monday, June 17. An opposing hostile party will be doing IT for any reason, all of the time. Back in April, he proclaimed the country would be in everlasting danger without presidential immunity leaving the commander-in-chief as nothing more than a ceremonial president. He also shared the sentiment during an interview with Sean Hannity that took place in January. Any president has to have immunity because if you take immunity from the president, so important you will have a president who won't be able to do anything, he insisted. When he leaves office, the opposing party president will indict the president for doing something that should have been good.